The last 30 years has seen a steady rise in catch-and-release fishing, both as an ethic and a fishery management tool. The practice, unfortunately, is meaningless if the released fish do not survive. To this end, Moffat Angling has developed a new fly fishing method that achieves an order of magnitude reduction in serious hook-related wounds, allows fish to be released with no physical handling, and reduces the incidence of foul hooking. Hi, I'm Pat Moffat, and I've spent the last eight years developing this fishing method. In simplest terms, the resource advantages are gained by separating the hook from the fly. The hookless flies are tied on a non-metallic core terminating in an eye loop made of a high friction material. The flies can be looped on and off the leader and remain in place when casting and setting the hook. Any conventional fly can be recreated as a hookless pattern. A fish with our method takes only the hookless fly with the hook remaining outside the mouth cavity. The angler, sensing a take, strikes pulling the fly from the mouth and drawing the hook into the jaw. A minimum distance of five to six inches is required between the hook and the nearest fly to prevent fish, especially ram suction feeders, from simultaneously inhaling both hook and fly into their mouths. Our circle hook design and rigging method avoids the expected eye damage and elevated rate of foul hooking caused by J-hooks. Importantly, the change of hook set direction allows the angler to pull when using circle hooks, a significant hurdle until now to widespread acceptance of this hook type. A circle hook, by definition, has its point at a 90 degree angle to the shank. To engage, it must roll into a position exposing the hook point. It can only do this when it encounters an edge, and the most probable edge for our hook design is the jaw. So why does our method allow the angler to strike? The necessary edge to set a circle hook from inside the mouth cavity can only be found at the corner of the jaw. The conventional prohibition against striking with circle hooks is to allow the fish's movement to orient the hook into this critical position. It has nothing to do with actually pulling. If the angler pulls before the hook has reached this position, the hook often pulls free or gains minimal purchase or bite, leading to the fish being lost during the fight. A properly designed circle hook, when pulled toward the jaw, however, encounters this necessary edge along the entire jawline. The hook set efficiency gained allows far smaller circle hooks to be used than previously thought possible. Trout and salmon over 10 pounds have been landed on size 18 circle hooks. And a size 10 circle is the hook of choice when steelhead fishing. Small circle hooks can now be effectively fished with large hookless flies. This wild brown trout with an outsized appetite was safely released because a small circle hook was paired with a large streamer rather than a conventional size 4 J hook. Par and smolt are similarly protected. Our fishing method finds the hook in an exposed part of the jaw. This allows a simple tool to slide down the line and when making contact with the bend of the hook causes it to reverse and roll out of the jaw. The angler simply separates the rod hand and the tool hand and the fish is freed. A fish subdued by our method does not have to be physically held to remove the hook nor does its head need to be elevated above the water's surface. Much care was taken throughout our research to demonstrate that our technique is both resource positive and ethically sporting, a method that shares the benefits between both fish and angler. A fish must take the fly for our method to work. We were fortunate enough to catch this rainbow on video taking one of our hookless egg patterns and then forcefully expelling it into the face of the current. The forces a fish can produce when inhaling or expelling a prey item are significant and as the video demonstrates more than sufficient to quickly rid itself of anything it finds objectionable.
Our circle hook design and the small sizes we employ significantly reduce the ability to foul hook a fish when compared to J-hooks. This is a result of the inherent circle hook design and our rigging method, where the line exits the lower side of the hook eye and in line with the hook bend. Any fishing method is ultimately subject to regulatory approval, interpretation, and oversight. A problem faced by a truly novel fishing development is it could not have been envisioned when regulations were promulgated. As an example, some state and provincial regulatory agencies, to prevent the unethical practice of intentionally foul hooking, wrote language requiring a fish to voluntarily take the hook into its mouth. Such regulations are understandable given conventional fishing methods, which necessitate a bait or fly to be directly attached to the hook. Our fishing technique, however, promotes the intent of the regulation, but may not be in complete accordance with the language. Other agencies simply state a fish must be hooked in the mouth or a fish must voluntarily take the bait or fly, which is consistent with our system. We ask your support in interpreting our manner of circle hook fishing, given the considerable resource advantages, as a legal means of fishing. We would be happy to share any of our research and answer any questions you may have regarding our fishing method. Additional supporting information, including our test results, can be found on our website. We thank you for your time and your attention.